if you look at today's AI, it is funny because in a very interesting way, we are talking to machines that are talking back to us, summarizing massive volumes of knowledge, uh, doing exactly as we tell them, and yet we take that for granted. It, we, yet we look at that and go like, yeah, but they're not good enough. Of course, they're not good enough, they're DOS. They're the beginnings of an era, right? Uh, my Was that DOS or DOGS? DOS, DOS. 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 Okay. Disco 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 <laughs> yeah, no, I got it, I got yeah. it. I just said, yeah. both would have worked, yeah. I just needed the clarification. I, I, I would not <laughs> dare call AI uh, DOGS, uh, Stephen, when they might take <laughs> over the that. world. I am a very <laughs> polite <laughs> man with AI. Uh, so <laughs> so the, 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 thing is, the thing is to imagine, and I, I need to highlight a few trends that are really, really important and interesting. Uh, one of them is uh, synthetic data. And the idea that we have entered an era where most of human knowledge has been fed to the machines and that the next wave of knowledge is going to be fed to the machines by machines, which is, um, which is quite eye-opening and enlightening because that's how humanity developed its intelligence, right? I, I really didn't have to figure out theory of relativity to understand the rest of physics. It was, you know, figured out for me, if you want, right? Uh, number two is uh, uh, the idea of uh, agents and, and how AI is going to be prompting AI without humans, leading to cycles that we see now with my new favorite, because you have a favorite every four hours, uh, Alpha alpha Evolve, right? And the idea mm -hmm. that you can have a, a self-developing AI, uh, you know, something that figures uh, its own mistakes out and continues to iterate until it finds something. Uh, and then of course, my m one of my favorites of 2025 is DeepSeek and how we realized, uh, you know, that we can actually do the same job with much less. The idea of shrinking the models to the point where it becomes shocking, really. And, and so when you add those together, you start to see that if I can shrink a model so it doesn't absorb all of the world's in energy, and if I can allow it to, uh, um, uh, self-develop and self-develop information to learn from and then allow it to talk with itself uh, through agents and do things without humans, uh, then then where the, go where, the, where the ball is going to be is likely going to be a lot better than we are today, right? So, so the one thing we, we all need to agree is it is not a question of if we're going to see improvements, it's a question of how fast and when those improvements will lead us to a point where uh, where humanity is not in in the lead